Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the fair share scheduler. Uh, this is a scheduler that our group made uh, for class. So let's start. So we created our fair share scheduler within sched.c. Um, this is where the code starts for the fair share scheduler. It's under sched schedule. So we first start off by initializing our variables, uh, struct task, a counter, an array for users, and the length of a length variable for the size of the array, and the total time slices that we have. So we start off by going through each process and add to the total time slice variable that we have, the time slice of the process. Uh, we declare a skip list variable used to check if the user ID is already inside of our array. If it is, then we ignore it. Uh, and we have a initialize variable i for our for loop. So this for loop goes through the process and it goes through the array that we have and checks that whether or not the uh, array already has the process ID. If it does, add, uh, skip it. If it doesn't, then add it to the array. Next, we go through the processes again and divvy up the amount of time each process has. So we have a default time slice of 100 or the time slice that is equal to the total time slices divided by the counter of the array divided by the number of processes that we have. We use that value to determine the total time slices to give each process. Um, that is all we've implemented for the fair share scheduler. Um, so let's go on to our proc entry that we needed to create. So let's exit out of there. Proc entry is located in fs proc proc miscellaneous.c and we edit a method called fair scheduler information. All this does is go through our task struct and prints out the amount of time slice that the process that we are going through has and gives the user ID. Note that we are only printing out for processes that are related to uh, the user process processes by the user. Uh, let me see if I can move this over. All right. So that's all it does. All right, so let's test this bad boy. Uh, I have already preloaded the kernel right here. And I created a file called test.c. Uh, within test.c, it's just a fork command and a while loop that should never end. Uh, we use this to create a bunch of processes with the children in order to test that our scheduler is working. So what I have done is ran a bunch of instances of test.c. Uh, they're all running in the background. And what I'm going to do now is run our proc entry, which will display the time slices that each process is taking. So there's our processes, and it looks like they exited. Let me try that one more time. So, take four instances and run this again. So, it looks like each time slice, each process has a time slice of one. Um, let's close out all of those and okay. Um, that's it. That's our fair scheduler. Thanks for watching, guys.